This is Ron with the RadiologicTechnologist.com blog and YouTube channel. Let's talk a little bit about advanced degrees in the world of radiology. Um, this is on my mind because a friend of mine, uh, Marta, uh, and I are chatting about it in Messenger. Um, Marta was a phenomenal sonographer that I used to work with at the uh, hospital in Flagstaff in Arizona. And um, I recently got my doctorate and Marta's working on her master's. And we were just kind of talking about, you know, what, what's it going to do for our career? And I, and I, I realized long ago, um, at least as a tech, your degree is not going to matter at all. There's no reason for you to get a bachelor's or master's or higher as a technologist. Um, all the hospitals and, and clinics and, and uh, imaging centers care about is that you have your, your certificate or your license from the ART. And that's because um, you cannot get reimbursed uh, in most cases from insurance companies unless someone at your location is licensed. Um, there are still doctor's offices and people who actually employ non-licensed uh, laymen, lay folk, to do their x-ray because they can pay them 10 bucks an hour. Here in Idaho, for example, where I live, there's no state licensure. And I remember our, our, uh, our x-ray teacher and even my ultrasound teacher back in the day in Arizona used to say, if you, if you can't pass your boards, you can always go somewhere like Idaho and work because they don't require any licensure. And that's true here. But, um, but the facilities, the, the main hospitals do require it as part of the job. So the state doesn't care, but the hospitals do. But that doesn't mean you can't go find a doctor's office somewhere, maybe do an OBs or do x-rays for a chiropractor or whatever where a license is not required. So, so the dirty little secret there in the world of radiology is that um, advanced degrees do not matter at all. Now, if you wanna get up into management, most often the minimum requirement is a bachelor's degree. And bachelor's degrees aren't, aren't that hard to come by anymore. Most of them are, you know, you can do a lot of them online. You never even have to go to the class uh, physically maybe for an orientation um, and get a bachelor's degree. Like you, you usually end up with an associates with your uh, x-ray school or some are now um, requiring two years of prerequisites to get into the program. And then two more years in x-ray school gets you a four-year degree when you graduate from x-ray school. So there's your bachelor's. So you're either going to have an associates or a bachelor's when you graduate x-ray school. And the, the only reason there's no, there's really, I was telling Marta, there's only two reasons um, to get an advanced degree beyond that. That's if you want to go into management or if you just want it personally. And, and that was kind of my case. I had always, I'd always wanted to get into management of radiology once I got in it. Uh, so I went up to the master's level, um, which helped me with my uh, final few careers on the ladder, the, the director and system director. But I also always wanted a doctorate um, just for personal reasons, just to show that I could do it uh, just to myself. And so, you know, people along the way would say, well, why, why are you getting a master's? It's not going to make you any more money as a, as a director. Uh, why, why go beyond that and get a doctor? You're not going to make any more money as a director. And that, that's true. Um, you can make it, you know, all the way up the ladder director, system director with just a bachelor's degree in some places and with a master's degree in, in most other places. But if you don't have any aspirations to go into management and radiology, if you if you don't have a personal desire to have an advanced degree, if you're one of those people that just hates school and there's lots of people like that, then you're done. You don't need to go. Um, I've known plenty of x-ray techs who spent their entire career in general x-ray and, and were completely satisfied, made plenty of money, worked the hours that they wanted, um, and they were fine. Nobody says you have to advance to another modality. Nobody says you have to get a higher degree. You can keep your associates, keep your ART license up to date with CEUs and be just fine. Um, now, if you're interested in, in getting a higher degree for whatever reason, I found that um, for me, uh, Weber State has a master's program, an MSRS, which is the Master's of Science in Radiologic Science. And I've, I felt it extremely affordable. I believe it was only about $19,000 uh, when I went, uh, I think it was 2015, 
um, you know, you try to find a master's program for under 20 grand, it's pretty tough. And Weber State was, was mostly online. You had to go for, uh, uh, you, you always have to go for orientation no matter where you're going. My, my doctor required an orientation visit. My master's required an orientation visit. So they always want you there for orientation to meet you, to show you your instructors, to kind of, you know, put a face to the name. But the, the Weber State program, you only had to go twice a semester. And each time you went, you went for two days. So you basically went a Thursday and Friday two times per semester. And that's where they just loaded you up with lectures uh, to meet whatever uh, requirements they needed to say it was a, a non-campus program or whatever. The rest of it was all done remotely. So for my master's at Weber State, I'd, I would uh, head up to Utah and there's a little town uh, by Ogden called Eden. And there was a little ski resort called, uh, I think it was Wolf Creek. And I would call them the day before I was headed up there and say, Hey, remember me? I'm the guy going to school up there. If you don't have uh, all your rooms rented out, uh, I rent them from you, and and they would give them to me at a discounted rate. So for you know 25, 30 bucks a night or whatever, I could stay in a room up there, and they were happy to at least make a little bit of money on it. And um, so I, I would go hang out uh, at Wolf Creek Lodge and do my Thursday and Friday, and then head back to Arizona. Um, and it worked out really well. I got my master's in two years. Um, some of their classes, I felt like, you know, every, every time you go into one of these programs, you kind of go, I'm not quite sure why they did this or that or whatever. And, and, and you know, Pima Medical Institute's x-ray program uh, was pretty ironed out because they'd been doing it for, you know, a couple of decades or whatever and, and had it down to a science. Um, Gateway Community College's ultrasound program, when I got into that, they had a brand new instructor who had never taught before. And he was a little wobbly at first, but he got really good at what he's doing. And he's a solid, uh, solid professor. And I'm glad I learned what I learned from him. Uh, but that was kind of rocky whenever you get somebody new thrown in there running the program. And then uh, my master's program at Weber, it was, they kind of, uh, a lot of it was on your own. You kind of had to figure out what it was that the teacher wanted. And and there was a lot of collaboration with the students. Well, what do you think they meant by this? And what do you think they want in this assignment and that kind of stuff? Um, and so, you know, every time you go to a different program, there, there's pluses and minuses. And my recommendation is that you, you find a group of, of cohorts of students that you can rely on uh, to talk to you and, and help explain things and study things. Um, but, but Weber State was good, two years in and out, um, MSRS. The only class I didn't understand is they, they did a class on uh, vascular ultrasound. And, and this is, in my mind, a master of science in radiologic sciences was to prepare you to be a manager. You know, it was more, I expected more business stuff. Uh, and instead, one of the classes was, in, was um, vascular ultrasound. And if I hadn't been a sonographer already, I'd have been like, well, what, why do I even need, need to take this class? But it was part of the curriculum, so whatever. Um, and then that master's from Weber State allowed me to look for doctorate programs because Weber's a public college, public university. And so Nebraska Methodist was in their second year of offering a doctorate in education and healthcare leadership. And I talked to them and I, I sent them my uh, transcripts and they said, yes, you, you meet all the minimum requirements. Um, and that program was actually... I think when it was all said and done it was under $40,000 for, for a doctorate. And that's really hard to find as well. So uh, again, it was all online. And, and now this is when COVID starts to come in and you can't go to campus, but it would have been a similar situation where you, I remember going for orientation and meeting all the teachers, but then after that, everything had to go strictly online because of COVID. Um, but it, was, it would have been the same thing. You go a couple of times a semester, you do some lectures, Everything else is at home. Uh, and in the EDD for Nebraska, we had a capstone project, uh, not a thesis. And so um, uh, it's tough and there's a lot to it. And you have to go through the uh, IRB to get things approved before you can do your, your project. And um, all in all, and I just finished it literally a couple of weeks ago. I just walked on Friday, today's Tuesday. I just went to Nebraska Friday and walked across the stage and got my doctorate. And that, you know, I posted that on Facebook and that's how Marta saw it. So we're talking about it. 
Um, but, but the bottom line is you, it really has to be more about if you want it or not. Don't, don't do it uh, because you think it's going to get you somewhere in your career, because if that's all you're doing it for and it never pans out, then you wasted your money and your time. It has to be something you're really interested in. So my, my doctorate in education and healthcare leadership, it, it can help me in the healthcare field, or I can lean on it to be a teacher in the education field. I could teach at, teach at the collegiate level or, or in an x-ray program or, you know, anywhere that, that I desire in the future, um, which has always kind of been in the back of my mind as kind of towards the end of my career, starting to become more of a teacher and less of an administrator. So I just wanted to, to talk about education and, and where you can go with it um, and, and let you know the advanced degrees don't help you in the field of radiology unless you're going into management. Um, now, if you're all about making the highest dollar you know you can make, I still would say it's not management. It's going to be getting to uh, the top of the ladder in, in interventional or nuclear medicine or ultrasound or maybe MRI, uh, maybe become a lead tech or a supervisor within those modalities. Um, but the minute you get off the floor and start being in management where you're paid a salary, that's where your, your, your income level kind of gets capped. Because I, I can't, as an administrator, I can't take call. I can't do callbacks. Uh, it's very rare that I even would do a, an exam anymore, which I miss. Um, so, you know, if you're in radiology for the money, uh, stay a tech take your call, do your callbacks and keep trying to advance up that ladder into a modality that you'll enjoy. Then grab three twelves, take four days off a week, make your full-time pay and, and enjoy more than half the week uh, in your private life and just do three twelves on the job. But um, I hope this helps some of you out there that are thinking about, you know, what, do I want to get a bachelor's? Do I want to get a master's or do I want to get a doctorate? Um, do I want to try to climb that ladder to different modalities or do I just want to stay here in x-ray? Uh, if you have any questions, of course, put them in the comment section. I'm happy to answer them. You can reach me if you want to go to my uh, blog at theradiologictechnologist.com. There's a tab at the top that says contact me. You can click that and send me a message. Um, I'm happy to answer uh, any reasonable question that you have or tell you how I got to where I got or uh, what pitfalls to watch out for, or how to study for things, or how to get into radiology school, whatever it is that's on your mind, let me know. Hope this helps somebody out there, and uh, stay safe.